Hello everybody, my name is Cutline3639, welcome back to another video. Today in this one it's going to be another dueling video, and in this one it's going to be Zombie Outlude versus Invoked Outlude. So it's going to be two different versions of the deck, you know, not the, two, the you know most popular builds of the deck, that still would probably go to Zoo Outlude. But, you know, still pretty uh, competent with them themselves, you know, uh, Zombie Outlet taking advantage of the zombie cards of Uni Zombie, you know, Banshee and Baylor Drock and Zombie World with Super Poly in the deck as well. Then, uh, Invoked, um... Eldridge taking advantage of the uh, Alistair engine because Eldridge does not need to use its normal summon. So they get to use the Invoked engine and you know how much people hate the Invoked engine nowadays. Without further ado though, let's get straight into the duel. However, uh, I will be on the bottom, uh, which is a uh, zombie Eldridge player. And then the Invoked uh, uh, player will be on the top. And the Invoked Eldridge player will choose to go first here since he did win Rock, Paper, Scissors here. Uh, he starts off with the Magical Meltdown then adds the Alistair the Invoker to hand. Normal summons Alistair to clear the effect, which uh, will get him to add invocation here. And then links off Alistair into uh, Almirage, which goes into a Secure Gardena. Then goes Invocation, sending Secure Gardena and Alistair to go into a Mechaba here. Typical plays of the um, Invoked Engine, then Invocation, add Alistair to hand. We already know this. And then he'll go ahead and activate Cursed Outlands, pay 800 life points here, add a Conquistador of the Golden Land to hand. Then he'll go ahead and set a uh, three cards, pass turn. He will pass to me. I'll start off with the normal summon of Uni Zombie here. Uh, declare the effect. He thinks on summon. He goes ahead and activates Conquistador Chainlink 1 and Scarlet Chainlink 2, uh, which will go through here and get himself a Conquistador. Destroy the Uni Zombie, which is fine. I go with a Super Poly, sending Banshee from hand, uh, using his Conquistador and Outledge to go to Outledge the Mad Golden Lord here. Then we'll go to Battle Phase, attack over the uh, Mecha Book. And we'll go to Main 2, set a three cards here, and we'll just pass it back to him. Uh, he will go uh, draw, stand by main phase here. He'll pay another 800 for Cursed Outlands here. Adds himself the Hot Kettle of the Golden Land. And then sends a um, Magical Meltdown uh, to do Lord's Effect here. I Ice Dragon's Prism, take his own Lord here. Not going to choose to banish because, of course, he has nothing on his field. He goes ahead and normal summons Alistair. Declare the effect. I will Solemn Strike on that. And then on resolution, I activate uh, Necro World Banshee to get a zombie world on field. Then activate Scarlet Sanguine to go ahead and get myself a Banshee from deck. And hopefully, one more negation will do it. Nadir Servant. Well, that's going to be tough. He will send a test to add Maximus. And then the test effect will go ahead and try to target uh, ba or, or, uh, Baladrock. And then Baladrock will negate. He'll go Maximus here. Uh, Banish of the Al Mirage and summon Maximus here. Declare the effect. I will declare effect a Banshee, uh, Banshee to banish. I banish his uh, Alistair here from Graveyard. He sends an, uh, another Intest, because that's not once per turn, and then an Ash Dragon. I send Link Rebo and then um, uh, the, the one card for Waking the Dragon. And then he does target uh, Zombie World with his Elders here, and Zombie World gets destroyed. And then we'll go to End Phase, uh, activate Scarlet and Conquistador, setting both cards. And then uh, getting Ash Dragon's effect, summoning the uh, Ecclesia to go into a Dogmatica Flur de Lis. And then I'll pass back to me. I'll go draw standby main phase. I'll just go straight to battle. Put Eltledge right into attack position. Attack over uh, Ecclesia because it can can be destroyed by battle with uh, just effect monsters. Then uh, Eltledge the Mad Golden Lord over Maximus. Then Baladur's uh, directly attack will be met with a Scarlet Conquistador here and then destroy the Baladrock. And we'll go main two here. Banish Scarlet here. Go ahead and set a Hot Kettle of the Golden Land. And then we'll set one card and pass turn to him. He will draw, go stand by main phase here. He will go ahead and activate a uh, Magical Meltdown, which will get me to proc uh, Scarlet here, get a Bailey Rock onto field. He will add Alistair to hand. And then, of course, we'll activate Hotketo here. Uh, that's unfortunate. We'll go ahead and banish my Elixir. And then he will go ahead and overlay into a Constellar Pleiades and then activate the effect to return uh, the Mad Golden Lord. Then do uh, Alistair's the uh, normal summon effect at invocation here. And then activate invocation, sending Alistair and uh, Elders to go into a Mechaba here. And then does invocation effect, adding uh, shuffling back invocation, then adding uh, Alistair back to hand here. Switches Elgin to attack and then put Maximus in attack. Goes to battle phase, tries to attack over Maximus, then forgets that Cursed Outlands is preventing him from doing so, so he can only attack uh, Crash the Lord, which is actually just both of his lords. I will try to hot Keto here. He will negate with Mechaba, which that's unfortunate. We'll go main two here. We'll declare Lord Effects, sending Cursed Outlands. I will declare Banshee, 
uh, to banish uh, the Eldritch. I'm really behind on advantage, card advantage, though. He goes into the end phase here. We'll set a Scarlet and then activate Scarlet in Graveyard to set a Conquistador. And pass turn back to me. I will stand by main phase here. Activate Zombie World off the top and then just go to battle. Hit over Constellar. Then he will go Scarlet and Conquistador here uh, to pop my uh, Baylor Drock here. We'll go main two and just pass turn to him. I'll try to do ba Baylor Drock again. He draws the Called by the Grave. Yep, that's basically game. So yeah, it was basically who can control better. He went first that game and then just ended up having the card advantage the entire time while I just... Was very far behind, had to waste a lot of stuff that kind of out his board, and then he just kept having the advantage after that. So unfortunate, lose game one, but now we are going into a uh, game two here. It's a long, pretty, uh, pretty long game one, as a matter of fact, as well. I will choose to go first here. Uh, we'll go ahead and go uh, standby main phase. Uh, we'll just set four and pass turn back to him. He will go ahead and then go to battle phase. End of battle phase. We'll go evenly. I will go with Solemn Judgment because let's not have that happen. We'll go main two with Normal Summon Alistair. Uh, declare the effect at invocation to hand. Yeah. Uh, so there's that. I don't have a negation there. I do. Uh, he goes in Al Mirage and then Al Mirage into Secure Gardener. Activate the invocation, sending Secure Gardener and Alistair. Go into the Mecha Bay here. And then does invocation's effect, shuffling back invocation and then the Alistair back to hand here. We'll activate an Endear Servant, go sending Elders here, and then adding Maximus to hand. And then does the Test Effect, targeting uh, Conquistador, which I will not activate in uh, Protest, then goes into Maximus. Maximus Effect sends another Elders, because that's not once per turn. I send Starting Venom and Winda this time, because I was playing Winda in this current build. He will try to target Super Poly with Elders. I will chain sending... Um, uh, Lord and getting rid of his Mechaba and Maximus and getting out a, <laughs> a, a fucking uh, Swamp Dragon here. He goes Lord's Effect, target my other back row, and that's Awaking the Dragon. We'll summon Elridge the Mad Golden Lord here, which is going to be interesting. We'll do Omega's Effect, sending uh, Conquistador back to deck, which is fine. That won't that will prevent me from getting this uh, Scarlet here. Does Lord Effect, sending Invocation to Graveyard just to special summon out the Lord here. We'll go end phase, we'll just banish the Scarlet and set the Hawk Keto here. And we'll task turn with that. We'll go standby main phase here. Normal Summon Uni, that was a very good top deck here. We'll go ahead and send Banshee. And then we'll do Lord, uh, Elledge the Mad Golden Lord effect, tripping a Uni zombie to take control of his Lord. He will Hawk Keto in response so he can at least get it off. We'll banish my Elledge, which is perfectly fine, but I will take his Elledge here. We'll go to battle phase, hit over uh, Mud Dragon into Haketo, then Elledge the Mad Golden Lord, attack directly. We'll go to main two here, and then just pass it to him. Uh, he will draw for turn, go standby main phase here. We'll normal summon Alistair, the, uh, um, Alistair, declare the effect, add invocation here, and then goes ahead and then, of course, just activates uh, invocation, sending Alistair, and uh, then banishing my window, go into invoked. Uh, I forget what this is called. It uh, then activates effect to destroy my own, uh, his outlage, my bad. And then goes Alistair, uh, invocation effect, adding Alistair back to hand. And then on resolution, I will just declare Mud Dragon Swatch. Uh, calling Light, probably should have done that earlier, but it's whatever. I'll probably, he will set one, go to end phase, set a, a Banish Hot Kettle, set a Scarlet Pass turn from there. I will activate Necro World Banshee here uh, in the end phase as well. Go ahead and uh, activate the Zombie World. We'll go standby main phase here. Activate the uh, Mud Dragon's Womp, uh, declaring light. Then go Black Awakening, summoning the Baylor Drock. That could have been that was a really good top deck for me there. And then here, uh, just really big thing. Activate uh, Mad Golden Lord once again, uh, tributing off the uh, Mud Dragon, and then chain link to uh, uh, Battle Drock effect to uh, banish his own Eldritch there. And then uh, tr I try to do uh, his uh, fusion effect again. Elledge the Mad Golden Lord prevents its attack and negation, so attack won't go through either. So I'll attack for 38 directly, 400 off. That's really unfortunate. He will go into uh, end phase. Uh, yeah, he will go and then Elledge and Conquistador will pop my own zombie world there, which is perfectly fine. And then he will draw for turn, go standby main phase, and just has to really think, looks at his resources and stuff like that here. And then he will admit defeat. A game two will go to me here. We're just going to view his hand real quickly. As you can see, it was a Fleur de Lis and Alistair. Uh, you 
go, you can normal summon Alistair, get the invocation to hand, but you can't really do anything afterwards. Flood Release won't get its negation effect because it needs another Dogmatica on field for it to do so. So it's just like very hard what to do there. You know, you can go. Uh, he probably has another Mechaba, but like, why would you go into another Mechaba in this case? It's just, I guess he just admitted a defeat just because it's like, no matter what, I can banish off his Eltledge if he ends up linking it off and stuff like that. So he just goes ahead and admits defeat there. So we are now, we'll be going into a game three here, which is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, two control decks really just going at it right now. Uh, so siding is in process. We'll go to game three. I accidentally show both hands. But this game goes by really quickly, and you'll see why. So I'll hide hands just real quick, and then go into standby main phase here. We'll set four cards and pass turn. As you see in chat, I already say I think I lost because I didn't saw Judgment or Waken the Dragon. There's the evenly matched, and there's my emit defeat there. Now we're gonna actually view both uh, hands here. As you can see, he had two evenly matches, so you know it wouldn't even have mattered. If we decided to um, solve judgment one, because he had the other one, for fuck's sake, and then two, if I actually just played this out, is because you can see my back row here was super poly strike conquistador and rivalry. Let's say I keep with rivalry because that was the most likely candidate I would have kept here. Uh, so I keep rivalry. He will just gone Nadir servant send elders pop rivalry. League. So no matter what, I was kind of screwed because he had that Nadir servant as well so yeah that's very very unfortunate there uh he drew two alistairs it's kind of like like bricky hand because he had the magical meltdown plus two alistairs like not like the best board in the world but you know two evilies and then a deer servant will do it for you as well so yeah that is it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did leave a like and subscribe for more content on the channel i do upload every single day except for saturday and sunday and i hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye